to another episode of Retro Club of Gamers. Our show on YouTube that looks at retro games for your favourite systems. And this week we've decided we'll return to the Super Nintendo with the Lawnmower Man. Um, I'm firing uh, Cyber Blanks for long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting excited over PS Bros. and Micro Lego. I look like this. I'm going to read it. Right, okay, yes, welcome back. Uh, 1993 game of a uh, very, very weird sort of film. Yes, uh, the film's very difficult to follow in this day. Yeah, 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 weird game. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Um, I find that the, the movie in particular is, uh, you know, a lot of major scenes that don't really make sense. Yeah. No. Yeah. And sometimes I feel like, uh, if you're watching it, you're like, no, I missed a bit. Now I just fall asleep and some of this. Yeah. Or I think. Yeah, more than I think. Um, I must say, the, quite the most of the graphics so far, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Now both 16-bit versions are pretty impressive, to be honest. Yeah. The Mega Drive cartridge version and also the, the Super Nintendo version. Very, very good. Yeah. There were very different ports of this game, however. Now, you had a Mac, I think you had a Macintosh PC and Sega Mega CD version. Mega CD version, yeah, yeah, yeah. which were totally different. Yeah, totally different. They were more based on uh, CG video based puzzling, yeah. whereas this is more a platformer slash shooter. Yeah. Um, some critics uh, mentioned that the, uh, the music was a lot better on the uh, CD version. Really? Yes. Which, uh, I think to be honest, I can't really hear the best the SNES version so far. I like the SNES version music. It gets a bit dull after a while, though. Yeah. So it must be really impressive to hear the Sega CD. Yes. I mean, I've never made a CD version back in the day. Do And I think all the Mega CD copies were originally recalled because they play in NTSC. That's why it's so difficult to get how we can get the CTS versions of the Japan. So, it's such a cool virtual war in Japan, and released by a company, a company called Coconuts. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, I'm going to take a that name. Absolutely. So, um, in this country, it was released by Time Warner on the Mega Drive, and uh, it was stored version over here with sales can be too active right? and uh, THQ and all the choice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a few key figureheads in this game was uh, the time was Simon Pick and it goes with Alistair Brimble. And um, it was released in November 1993 for the Super Nintendo in North America and uh, Japan was February 11th 1994. The PAL release was somewhere in between there. I would say versions of 1994 and the Amiga version being 1995. Fair enough. Yeah, it got quite bad criticism with the uh, Genesis version. Yeah. Uh, quality of the controls and the graphics, which is basically what you really need for the game. Yes, there's two yeah. two main things, isn't it? If you're not if you haven't got that, then you have got into the random box. Yeah. But um, right, so two players in this game. You've got Joe McMiddle here, but you have uh, Dr. Angelo, who's boss yeah. person, and you have Carla Parquette. Which it doesn't really tell you who Carla Parkett is, like, apart know. from being um, the Job's mum's best friend or something. Yeah. So, it's an odd choice. Why not have Austin O'Brien in it? Could have just used him, couldn't you? You could have, yeah. Yeah, could have just used him. Well, he's featured in the first film in 1996's uh, Lawman Man 2 Beyond Cyberspace. Right. Mm. So, why yeah. they didn't use him? They definitely could have. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't even in the last action hero video game. Okay, so we've got kind of funky music playing. Um, little yeah. scene. Cyber monkeys. Can't really hear it, so I think I understand why they said it. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, it's mono, isn't it? Yeah. Very mono. Right. One hit kills, I think, on this, so you've got to be very, very careful. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Do some kind of flashing. It's quite. In oh. Is it, uh, the enemies respawn, which is quite irritating. Okay. A little bit of bounce from the car. Can you then? shoot up? No. No, oh, it's a shame. Right, if you collect enough CDs, you get your uh, cyber suit, which is quite imperative, really. You need that because uh, that prevents you from one shot kills. Right. 
Okay, so you do progress through the game there, that's pretty good. Nice do you lose the suits? Do you have to keep the CDs? You, you do lose the suit, yeah, if you get hit, a hit you lose the suit, you have to work it back over again. Right, okay, keep shooting out until you can get into it, press the up button, which takes you into cyberspace. And these are quite impressive modes in the game, and they're in, they add in between points to the level, which is like a, a 3D subspace. Here we go. Can be quite difficult to navigate your way around it. A little bit of funky music playing in the background. I think you see this more in the SNES version, don't you? Yes, I think so. Which, and certainly more impressive in the SNES. Yeah, which apparently uh, continues the storyline straight after where the point of the film ends. Oh, really? Uh, I think I've read this. That doesn't um, Joe upload his computer his, himself fully to the computer? Uh, and is it like the Dooms, Dooms player or something yeah. that he's in control of? And uh, they work for the shop. I think, and this is what Pierce Brosnan's character is looking to eradicate once and for all, is the shop. Right. One hit kills in here as well, as I demonstrated there, quite yep. uh, immaculately. And where do you pick up your gun from? You don't get it quite in this level, this is just right. the basic first level where you, you get to grips with it. Much like the film does, you know, it eats you in, doesn't it, with the yeah. virtual reality. So is it simply as just dodging things, yeah? Yeah, dodging right. obstacles from it, right. dodging, doing any work, <laughs> as Pierce Brosnan does. Right, okay, okay. monkey's here. Annoying monkeys. Which was that just the dream? Was that, real, that was so? the dream sequence. This wasn't yeah. the monkeys. Right, they went straight into you. Yeah. Oh, do you drop the CDs? Do you? I uh, know they came out of a uh, little bin down here. Right. As you can see, there's plenty of things that want to try and kill you on this game. Least for cars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we repair a car does want to. Yeah. So it drops a grenade at you. Very difficult to avoid. The game is very tough. tough. It's very, very difficult. Yeah. Very, very difficult. And it's needlessly difficult, I think. This thing here, is there any point with this? No, I think really it's just to make it pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Give you that illusion that it's in the future, you know, the turn of the 20th century. See Joe the bottom there. Okay. So, uh, you know, if this was truly the 21st century, then we wouldn't be using CDs here. If anything, it'd be on little iPods and stuff. You know? <laughs> no SD cards. As you can see, I've got my cyber suit. SD cards, yeah. <laughs> see, I've got my cyber suit. Don't want to shoot that if I can help it. Uh, never virtual reality level. This one's going to be slightly more difficult than the last one. Right. And they get progressively difficult to the point where there's a point where I can't get past one of them. Uh, it just gets really irritating right. when you're in a little spacecraft. Yeah, the spacecraft. I did enjoy playing them though, to be honest. Oh. Right. Jump back in together? Yeah. Yeah, I'll jump back in there. I think it's going to spawn me down there. I'll take a yeah. fall off. Cheap. <laughs> nice shadowing effects there, as you can see from the, the hands on the floor. Okay, got to time this just right. Obviously done. And then again. Yeah, see, very, very tough, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very. But I mean, that's, that's, the that's particularly hard on a D pad. I suppose it yeah. is, yeah. Oh. See, there's no avoiding that, is there? Well, oh, go on, do it again. You got anything? <laughs> no, I know. The enemy's getting harder and harder with their artillery as well. Um, there's going to be monkeys jumping along here in a minute. Firing gats at me. Of course, as monkeys do. Yeah. Oh. Side. Oh. Yeah, so not like your other um, usual arcade games. You can see this is quite tough, to be honest. It's very, very tough. But remember, I used to play this on the Mega Drive. And it used to be my getaways, of course, you know, and Sonic, so I feel like that. So yeah. come away from the uh, the childish uh, arcade games or play someone like this. Yeah. Sold quite well, this game, though. How many? Um, I'm not too sure on sales figures itself, but I know that most people had this game. Certainly right. most people I knew had it. You had it. I had a copy of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, a few of my childhood friends who had Mega Drives had it. And it's quite easy to find. Yeah, it's not... It's not really difficult to find a, a SNES version of it, which, you know, the SNES didn't do as well in this country as the Mega Drive. That's, it certainly is. Off you go. Right, we know well, does that. Yeah. 
a few decent efforts done with the, the scenery and the graphics to make it slightly different. Yeah, quite interesting. I'm looking at the background right now. Yeah, not bad. Standard snares, sky, and trees. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Let's put more obstacles there. Yeah. I haven't played this game in a little while, so it's um, somewhat of a trial. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, so we've got this gun, shooting these, uh, what looks like uh, space invaders, to be honest. Yeah, this is what the monkeys fight in the, the beginning part of the film. Yeah. A lot going on. A lot going on. But also impressive as well, I mean, uh, you go from your standard 2D arcade version to first person shooter. Yeah. Uh, then you get a scene where you're driving cars. Uh, I'll see if as well that I'm missing. Oh, the uh, spaceship flying. Yeah, that's it. And you've got the end one where you're, where you're actually a character. Yes. Much like Res. Yes. yes. Very you know, Res. The Cyber. But then there was a sequel to this game called The Cyber War, which came out on the PC, Mac, and the PlayStation 1 in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not based on the, the second film. No. The second film came out yeah, a couple of years after. That's right, yeah. It's yeah. very well there. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. Well, right. see, even though I was saying when we played Res, how it might be a long one. Mm. So, yes. Yeah. All of that. Right. Yeah, very good game. We've got some scores on the doors. Jim can't see the, uh, the suits. Yeah, indeed. Ah, oh, this is another sort of interesting part of the game. When oh, I remember this. Better. This was tough. Yeah. Helicopter showing like this little uh, boiled eggs. Yeah. What's boiled eggs going? Not sure we, whether you get out. Yeah, you get out here probably. Which one of the uh, <laughs> has killed you? Whether run out of. Uh... That's not fair. Yeah, no, that van is annoying. At least you can jump on top of it, that's a good thing. And it does take forever to, to kill. Yeah. We're trying to get as much well. distance from this as possible. Yeah, just so you can have time to shoot. Yeah. Nicely done. Nice. Joe getting annoyed with that, mate. Yeah, he doesn't like that. But he's cheating anyway, he's using cyberspace. Yeah, so. This is a, a level boss. Right, so you've got to irritate him one. Gone up a little bit. Lost him all. Wow. Careful. Yeah, getting too close to them. You can actually shoot those fireballs, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure that one actually hit me. <laughs> no, I did. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, you've got a you know a level boss there. <coughs> right, so we've got to do a review though, yeah? Yeah. Excellent, okay. Right, so we're going to start straight away with the graphics. I think it's very important for a game like this. Okay, so we'll hit me up with your score then. Graphically, it's it's of the time, I'd say 1994, quite average. Yeah. So I'm going to give that... Actually, 3D sections are really good looking. Yeah. Oh, that's difficult. Um, 7.5. 7.5, you say? 7.5. Okay. Um, I'm going to be quite generous, just because it's 90, so I'm mm. quite impressed. To this day, I'm going to give it 8. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So gameplay. Gameplay is difficult, but it's not a it's not a terrible game. It's the, there is something about it that keeps you coming back to it. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm quite fond of it because us as kids played it quite a lot. So I'm gonna give it a six point five. Okay. Yeah. I've got to give it a seven purely for the fact you've got different things to do on this. It's not always the same two D spectrum. So yeah. Uh, sorry, what was yours again? Um, six point five. Six point five and a seven. Seven. I like the music on it. I like the, the title music. I think it's pretty good. I think the music that's playing there is quite funky. Yeah. So I'm going to give that a... Um, seven. Seven. Okay, I've got the rocket down to a six because it's not quite loud. Okay. It's not impressing me. Uh, controls. Well, as you picked up there, there isn't an upward shoot, yeah. which could help the game 
dramatically and it is a very static shooting that way shooting that way yep. there's no real diagonal movement right at that so i'm going to give that probably a six six as well oh, right okay as well as me i've got a six uh ooh, seven six point five for me okay six six and a half six and a half uh for yourself you want to the shot i am i think it's a seven i think it's a solid seven yeah it's a seven yeah, yeah. Right, seven six point five. Not bad. Okay. Not, not great. Mm. Um, is it the sets? Is that what brought us down? No, no, the same the Mega Drive. Same Mega Drive. Yeah, same as the Mega Drive version. It's been a while. Yeah. To be honest, the film's been a while. I don't think I've seen the film since yeah. the nineties. Yeah. Probably don't want it. Yeah. Yeah, it hasn't aged very well. Yeah. Premise is very good though. Yeah, not bad. I do apologise for my stiff here. I've got major codes. It's been snowing a lot. Yeah. Snowy days. Oh well. <laughs> but, yeah, um, yeah, you know, we've played that one. I wanted to play this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting game. I quite like the cartridge. The cartridge is quite nice. Yeah. I think the cover for the SNES is better than the Mega Drive. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, the Mega Drive version is. Um, yeah, well, it's standard, isn't it? Yeah. Like, like the film, I believe. Yeah. Like the film. Yeah. You've got the odds, that little blue person with the blue in the background. I think yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, well, I think so. Yeah, I think Jabe's on the front cover going. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Does. But, um, so, let's do some prices. Yeah. For the SNES, with about six to eight pounds, box on box. I couldn't find many box ones, to be honest. Okay. Obviously, on box. Yeah. Uh, Mega Drive, that's the same thing. Uh, six pounds for a box. Okay. Same price as SNES. Uh, Ten pounds for a box. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a good price. Pounds. Yeah, it's well worth well seeing out for that. This particular copy I picked up recently, a uh, recent purchase from the Tech Outlet in Plymouth, uh, cost me £3.50 for that package. Which, of course, is a fantastic price. Yeah, it's very good price. They yeah. uh, undercut online, and um, yeah, the staff are really friendly in there. I really enjoyed having yeah. a little meet around the Ratchet section. See, this is why it's worth going to your local game shops. Because I was checking prices uh, all over the UK. Three pounds you get this up for. Pretty good. Yeah. Three and a half. Can't argue that, can you? Can't argue that. But, but you can also find SNES games in your local Wants branches as well, as well as uh, Nerd Entertainment Game Zone. And um, you know, there's a just stick to local. Find your retro retailers. Buy from them. All right. Let's keep bricks and mortar around. Being able to look at those cartridges, have a little blow in the cartridge spot. <laughs> Sniff it. It's worth a shot as well. Yeah, it's worth a shot for games. Definitely, definitely. A good day out of anything. Yeah. Yeah. Some shouts. Shouts. Well, I've just got to stick to my uh, good, good viewer, Christian Pease. Thank you so much for uh, keeping on top of these games. Put it in your watch. Leave a comment on that. So, yeah. I've been watching, I'll let you know. You yeah. cheated, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Guarantee that you're watching that, which is good. Um, Bob Phillips, semi guarantee you're watching, maybe not. Um, John Robson, quarter guarantee you're watching nowadays, probably not. Being honest, <laughs> better things to do with your time. Well, if you're watching, thank you so much for joining. Uh, you can catch us next week on a newer console, I would probably assume. Oh, yeah, it would assume so. Yeah, yeah, we've been lingering around in 16 bit for a little while. Yeah, so it's, it's still quite new, but you have to check it out next week. Thank you so much for joining. See you next game. See you next game.